there are different things that you have to learn when you're in chaos. So for example, one of the first things that I put on each one of these has to do with how far you think in time. So if your life is in financial chaos, if your financial life is in chaos, you need, you're likely not able to think more than a few days ahead. And so you need to not be thinking 20 years ahead. That's not realistic. If your life is in financial chaos, what you want to do is start thinking, try to stretch to weeks. And you can slowly start to build up to then getting your head above water, right? And again, if your financial life is in chaos, that's generally like insolvency. You generally, at that point, there are there are a lot of resources that you can tap into that are probably free to help you because you don't have to drown. But debt traps are real and they, they swallow a lot of people. Um, but once you're at a point of survival, then you can, you know, you don't want to be trying to get to, from survival right to accelerated growth, right? You want to just move slowly, go to stability first, go to stability, learn how to keep your head above water, despite life's ups and downs. And then you can learn how to grow. A lot of us want to go from zero to a thousand really fast. And we're just going to end up right back where we came from.